Well, the bike does not start still. Um, I put the new battery in, and with even the battery, uh, the voltmeter, uh, when I start it, try to start it, is still not enough power. And it seems like it dips a lot when I um, turn the ignition on and uh, try to start it. So I'm assuming though, that since it's electrical, it most likely has to do with all the aftermarket stuff this guy put on before. And this wiring is kind of everywhere, so let's dive into this. A quick inspection shows that these uh, wires are exposed. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. And the guy um, lived in South SF, so a lot of moisture in the air. So that could be definitely a problem here. Also, if uh, just to take this off, these go to nothing. So maybe it has to do something too. And over here, we're seeing more of that rust. So I'm hoping I could find something easily, but if not, I might just have to re-solder or rewire everything because it was still starting. It was still trying to start. So I don't know if it's a, if it's a big problem. So we'll see. I'm gonna undo this thing. I don't even know what this is, but just as a reference, the wire comes over here. Over here, I see something. That's another interesting thing. Um, it says relay and main, both should be a 20 amp. But when you open it, it's a 30 and a 20. So maybe it's it should be, the 30 should be 20. And if it's a 20, maybe it would actually blow once you try starting it. It's a new day. I got all my stuff. New wires, solder. And I have some instructions on Pretty much how the wiring goes for this whole bike. And we'll see how this goes. Found that the black and white wire uh, pretty much connects or is the ground wire and it connects pretty much everything to it. And it's a pretty small wire and everything should be connected to it. Um, so I should check everything. I'm pretty sure. Since the bike did start once, that it's probably probably related to the ground wire, just like just contacting somewhere else and just shorting out for a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna change some wires and see if I can start it. Okay, power's on. Let's see how this starts. So I just looked up a video and they said it could be the stator, or not the stator, the rectifier regulator. And that thing is right here where the smoke was coming out. And let's see, you just pull it out. And now we can test this. You put it to the diode mode, which is that one. Put the positive lead on the positive of this one. And then you use the negative lead to test each of these diodes. I think that's what they're called and the, out, the output reading should be the same, and if they're different at all, um, then it's bad. Okay, put this on the positive, which is right here. Nothing, 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 cool. Then, put this on the negative, I should get the same sort of readings, or a similar reading. Nine two, nine fourteen, eight eighty, eight eight, eight seventy nine. So it looks like this could be an issue. So it looks like it's confirmed that this rectifier regulator is bad. Okay, well here's the new one. I'm gonna run the same test just to see if uh, all this is right. 751, 748, 749, it's not bad, same thing. So it's still showing a voltage drop when I try starting it. Um, so I need to figure out what that is. If it's not the rec regulator rectifier, 
then they say similar problems could be the stator. One way to test this is to check the resistance, I think it's called resistance, on these, and it should show a resistance. It'll show something and go away. If I change it to here, same thing. Same to this one. So it shows something and goes away. I believe it should have resistance in these. This is the stator wire that connects to the regulator uh, rectifier. So because it's not showing that, I think that this might be bad now. So it should replace the stator as well. Okay, I got the stator cover off um, along with the stator here. When I was pulling it off, it was leaking a lot of oil. So I realized, of course, that there is oil here. I didn't really know that. Um, but where it's coming out um, seems to be the source of the leak. And it looks like because the gasket here is pretty brittle, it broke off when I took it off. Um, it looks like if I replace that, maybe even the oil leak will go away. So hopefully it's related to my stator issue and start issue. Here's the new stator and the gasket. Just got to replace this one and the gasket and then put it on. And then I also have an oil filter because I didn't change the oil, the filter last time because I didn't think it had one because my Rebel didn't have one. Um, after that, hopefully try to start it and actually have a start. It's back in together, hopefully correctly. Um, I think everything is done now. All the wires are back on. The new stator wires are connected to the new regulator rectifier wires. So should be good to go. Um, get some fuel going. Okay, that sounds a little bit different because that's, that's most likely a bad or a low battery. So I'm gonna check the voltage on it right now. I have the dangerously stupid rig put together. This power, let's try starting this again. Well, it's been some time and I just gave it to a shop because I kind of gave up on it. Uh, but basically when I took off the stator cover, there was a washer that was misplaced. They just put it back in the right place and then started it up and it was fine. So looks like that's all it was. Choke out. Runs pretty well now. The only issue I have is when I'm at speed and I come down to a stop, sometimes it stalls. So what I'm doing right now is adjusting the idle speed. Uh, put it a little tighter. I think it should be at one turn and a half turn uh, from fully in. Uh, so I'm put it in a little more just to raise the idle. Something you notice is I took off the heat wrap because I think when the guy started it and fixed it, he said that something was burning off or there was smoke coming out and I think it was the heat wrap, exhaust wrap. And I uncovered this, which might mean that there is a cut or leak in this exhaust system, which would make sense. And it's, that could attribute to why this bike stops uh, sometimes. The brakes are pretty bad, they're pretty noisy. Um, but overall, it finally runs. The actual issue of this bike not starting I believe is actually the stator. Uh, so we changed that, so that's good. Now what I'm gonna do for next is I have another seat. I'm gonna repaint this, because this is pretty bad. And I think it'll make the bike look a lot different, a lot better. So we'll see what to do here. Just need to waste this old gas, and then after that, empty out the tank and get it ready for paint.